today, we'll learn to illuminate dark magic with the Lumos spell. You may begin the Lumos challenge to practice the spell. F -f Follow me, Mr. Papata. Hold down the mouse button to aim the spell. To cast Lumos, let go of the button. You may p practice on that g g g gargoyle. Lumos! That's quite bright, isn't it? Now you can c cross the chasm and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end.
Found my secret napping place. Shh. I think I'm lost.
saw Ron down in the entrance hall. Next is our potions lesson. And it looks like we're already late. Potions teacher, Professor Snape. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. You're late for potions, Mr. Potter. Inexcusable, even for celebrities. Five points from Gryffindor. Potter, go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. Bring back Wigan Tree Bark, Moly, Dittany, and Flobberworm Mucus. Be quick about it, or I shall deduct house points from Gryffindor. Now be gone, and don't come back without the ingredients. You look familiar. Excuse me. I thought I sent you to the dungeons for push. Hmm, that must be Dissony. Snake tricked me. the molly.
Must be flubber worm mucus. Late again, you lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them, if you must. It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets.
Harry, what's that smell? Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron, and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus the Ravenclaw! Let's play Quidditch! There's the snitch! 
Here comes the Ravenclaw Seeker! Oh, Seeker! Oh, Seeker! Here comes the Gryffindor Seeker! Stay on target! Oh, what a hurt! A blunder! Connor's moving in! Moving in! He's getting closer! Thanks to Harry's skill as a seeker, Gryffindor won the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. It's an invisibility cloak, said Ron. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped to prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. What's <laughs> Where are you, you sneaky slack? Was that? Someone's got past me.
Now, how can I get up there? Wherever you are. Uh, uh. Ugh. 
Do you think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. come in handy if I have to distract Filch along the way. Where are you, you sneaky slime? I'll catch you. Yes, I will. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania.
reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what, thought Harry. <laughs>